what we're looking at is the uh, flare stack, covered flare stack. It fired up at 5.40. Um, I'd only just put my head back on the pillow after hearing one of the lads talk about, uh, one of the site workers talk about a PSI test. Obviously that's a pounds per square inch test, pressure test. There's your, there's your worker over there. Um, they were mucking about on the rig, so when he came down, I kind of crawled back into my sleeping bag. And just under an hour later, I heard the flare stack fire up, very distinctive sound. Saw the light on it, dove out, shot you up that last video, um, which was me in a bit of a hurry, showing this shot. Then I put it on pause and uh, ran round to the other side of the flare stack. So if you can imagine me going out the front gate, turning right and running maybe 100, 150 yards up to uh, to the other end of the compound just past the flare stack and as you can see I don't know if you can see this time of night but we've got a northerly wind again heading to the north as you can tell by the streamers so just on the other side of that flare stack about 20 meters away from the hedgerows on High Fossum Road, I was stood there and the same overpowering sick smell was uh, pouring out. Um, so I've come back and done another little video and uploaded it. I've also phoned it through to the EA on uh, an EA log that we've already got running and uh, hopefully that'll get addressed tomorrow morning um, or maybe even now, who knows. Uh, but I wanna give you a little bit more video of uh, what's happening here because I mean the wind's going in the other direction I can smell it over here that's really odd but over the other side of that stack was absolutely vile really really vile and uh, oh yeah I can smell it over here Ugh, that makes no sense does it that just shows how, how overpowering it must be because the wind is although it's a light breeze um, heading northerly, I can smell it here, and I'm I'm over in the uh, uh, what would you call it? Southwest corner, southeast corner, southwest corner, southwest corner. That'll do for now. But uh, you've got a, a sight bod over there. I don't know if you can see him. Just stood next to the pressure. He's obviously watching the pressure, and. Um, those lights denote, there's three of them on there, they denote that the uh, stack is flaring. Um, it's funny actually, we've not seen any, um, you know, uh, flames from this stack for some time. But the stench is still absolutely debilitating. I mean, it just makes you want to throw up. Um, I'd be interested to see what residents are over in the north. Oh, there you go, a little bit of, a little bit of hiss. That's very, uh, and that is now pouring out of there. That is absolutely pouring. Listen to that. And when you're stood on the other side of that, I cannot tell you how vile that smell is. It makes you wretch. You can't draw breath. Your body instinctively and your brain instinctively turns your head away from it to try and find pockets of air to breathe. This stuff is foul and it pisses me off when you hear Rafflin say on their website that it's a little bit stronger for the people, the protesters, first of all we're not fucking protesters, we're monitoring the environment. The uh, environment monitors are um, uh, in close proxi closer proximity than the nearest house. Well, it doesn't matter that we're in closer proximity. EA stipulations actually stipulate that odour must be of levels that is not considered pollution outside the compound. Well, I can tell you that as of yesterday, when you, you saw us in the jet wash of it, as I call, call it, it is serious, serious outside compound pollution. And... The, the, the Environment Agency need to step up to the plate. They need to up their game. They need to deal with this issue. They need to shut this sodding place down until odour can be managed correctly. 
And management correctly does not mean doing it at 5.40 in the morning. It doesn't, that doesn't solve anything, you know. I am going to be checking around up north, uh, the, to, to the north of this camp tomorrow to see if anyone did notice the smell. But as I say, for the moment, the log, you know, uh, has been updated for the EA. And if any of you want to add to the log, it's 1281178. And listen to this, just listen to it, pour. And this is a six o'clock in the morning smell. You'd be retching in your bed. You're jumping out of your um, your bed saying that you think there's the smell of gas. Well, that is the smell of gas. Absolutely foul. And raffling are just disregarding every stipulation, every regulation that they're being given. What the hell is that up there now? Look. Look like a fire extinguisher. There you go, what's all this? You got a worker up on the rig. I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like a it's like a leaf blower that's chucking out something. <laughs> Actually stinking over here now. I don't understand why. I'm going to back to this. Yeah. Still pouring. Now I've gone six, well gone six o'clock, and we're up to eight minutes on this particular video. So I've just seen another light come on there. I don't know if you saw it. And the rig work has walked off, or the sight bod for the uh, flare stack has walked off. There's like a whole panel of lights on over there now. We normally see three. I can count at least seven, possibly eight lights fired up on that. And we're up to nine minutes. I'll be stopping this video in a minute and starting a fresh one because uh, I don't want them to be too long. I'll stop this bang on the 10 minute mark and um, get you fired up on another. That noise you can hear over there is the, is the flare stack. And uh, up on top of the rig, you can hear what sounds like a bumblebee. Right, but yeah, have a look on the top of the rig. I don't know what he's doing up there. But it's all go here. All go here at five o'clock in the bloody morning. So much for getting some sleep. But anyway, restarting now. <laughs> 